what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Former NBA player Delonte West is the latest cautionary tale of a celebrity who lost it all. Delonte didn't just lose it all, he hit rock bottom. He was recently spotted in Dallas holding a sign out on the street panhandling. This guy earned over $16 million in his NBA career before taxes. So we're still talking somewhere in the neighborhood of $9 million, $10 million. And he's panhandling. Some people will look at the story and start laughing, cracking jokes. Fam, whether he's a celebrity or not, whether he was a major basketball player or not, in a country as rich as America, nobody deserves to be out on the streets begging for anything, let alone money for a meal. Fam, this guy played for Boston, he played for Seattle, he played for Cleveland, he played for Dallas. So that was his last stop. This is not the first time Delonte was spotted in public in a bad light. Back in 2012, he was seen in a jack-in-the-box parking lot, walking around in a hospital gown with no shoes. So, don't really know what's going on with him. Don't know if it's some type of mental health condition, alcohol, drugs. He was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Reports are that various members of the NBA Players Association and uh, the Clippers coach, uh, what's his name, Doc Rivers, has been trying to reach out to him for months. Back when a fan spotted him in Houston, the fan uh, went on social media and he uh, listed the exchange that he had with Delonte. He said, he asked Delonte, first of all, are you Delonte West? And he said, yeah. And he said, well, what happened? And he said, Delonte said, life. Fan. This is to say that none of us knows what the future holds. I'm sure he couldn't have predicted that he would find himself in that type of position. And that's why it's important for us to not try to look down on folks who might be in a bad position because you never know when your number gonna get punched, you know? I'm sure if you ask every single person that's living out on the streets right now, could they see themselves in that position? And at least most of them would have said, no, no way possible. People that are out on the streets come from all walks of life. You got former doctors and lawyers, NBA players, football players, rappers, managers, entrepreneurs, teachers. People come from all walks of life and you know we got a whole lot of vets out there so you never know a person's story. But man, uh, it's broke my heart to see dude like that because I only know him the other way. You know, to see him go from, you know, NBA superstar. Well, he wasn't a superstar, but he was a star. You know, he played... You know, he was right there with LeBron James. You know, he played with LeBron in Cleveland. So he's lived the life of a, of a star. And to see him fall 
know that low? Man, boy, that, that's sad to see. So I hope that anybody that's watching this right now is not poking fun at dude. I know some people that can't stand celebrities. I ain't got no love for celebrities. I don't feel sorry for him. He made all of that money and blew it. He deserved to be out on the street panhandling. Fam, be very careful with that type of tone because you never know what life is going to do to you. Furthermore, the only time you should look down on a man is to reach and pull him up. At least he lived his dream. That's more than what most people can say. No more talk. What the haters talking about?